take a ride out to the pasture to check on one of the three older horses that I have. This is Honey. She's a Hackney mare that I bought at a horse auction quite a few years ago. She was in a pen with another horse that came from Kentucky, but unfortunately I was only able to get one. Boy, she was a handful in her younger days, I'll tell you that. three years honey has had it pretty rough between colic and then she had a pretty big uh, sore on her face I have no idea how that came about but we ended up treating it and there's just this little scar right here so it healed up pretty good What I noticed with Honey and some of my other older horses is that I was finding these hay balls around my barn, so that means they were not able to adjust, digest the hay properly. So what I decided to do was come up with a mixture. I was feeding them um, sweet feed and Timothy alfalfa pellets or alfalfa pellets. And I mix that with water, let it set for a little bit, and feeding them that. And it seems to really help because honey has gained weight. This is the amount of feed that honey gets right now. Also, I use this large round feed pan. It just makes it easier for the older horses because when they drop food out of their mouth, it goes right into the feed pan instead of on the ground. So it helps out. During the winter, I usually upper feed and I also add about a quarter of a cup of corn oil to it. Here's what honey looks like now with what I've been feeding her. I think she looks pretty good for a horse in her early 30s. Let me know in the comments if you have any older horses and what you're feeding them to help maintain their weight. What I used on Honey's wound after it was all cleaned up was peroxide and iodine wash that I had put together in a spray bottle and I sprayed that on in there about three times a day. I didn't wrap it or anything and there never was any sign of infection and it healed up pretty fast. Everyone, thanks for watching. I really appreciate that. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Give me a thumbs up and have a great day.